G'day, this is Captain Noob, and this is a Furious Laser Pistol, with VATS Criticals doing 50% more damage. We've got a calibrated capacitor on this, so that'll boost our critical damage even more, and we're going to be utilizing better criticals for even more damage. So, crit spamming and VATS is the name of the game with this weapon. It is a pistol, energy weapon, and a reflex sight, so we should be pretty good to do that. We're going to be at full health, so no bloody shenanigans today with unyielding to dramatically boost our accuracy and um, also... Uh, our shots ability because all of the agility and critical damage abilities thanks to all the luck so we'll have to see how this goes and if it gets really bad i'll just you know whack on the unyielding gear and then go into bloodied but you know it allows us to have more perks and uh, luck to use for less uh save your life things we've got a true barrel and true grip probably want to go align with these things if you want to really max out the ap usage on this thing but that's okay because um i do prefer the accuracy when i'm not shooting this thing in vats and uh, beam focus it to increase the range a little bit now interestingly i've just been comparing this to a 10 millimeter pistol this is a bloody lucky one that i did the other day and you'll notice how the range is higher on a weapon that fires what i assume to be subsonic 10 millimeter bullets because that's why they're so quiet right that's why enemies can't detect it because there's no big bang as the bullet breaks the sound barrier but for some reason this thing firing bullets is somehow got less effective range which projectiles move at literally the speed of light so that's kind of weird we've got a better fire rate than this thing which is a nice thing to have combined with a higher base damage there at least in terms of the numbers damage output once we actually get to shooting stuff might be different but that's good for dps we've got a decently high accuracy too and it's about the same way it's negligible you'd think this one would be slightly lighter because they're not made out of all of the uh, sturdy materials that these things are because they don't have to absorb the shock of the recoil of the uh, cartridge exploding inside the thing blah 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 anyways so yeah 39 damage will whack on some of these perks to hopefully make that better no sneaky sneak is gonna happen here because that's just a big old waste of time this thing's going to be as loud and proud as it gets so we'll chuck on some of these automatic pistol perks they're called gorilla perks i've also got three ranks of bloody master shock in we've got three ranks of better criticals we've got three ranks of grim reaper's sprint critical savvy is also there what we could actually do here is um well i've got a perk coin active i mean point uh, what I might do is just whack on Four Leaf Clover. Just one rank, and that'll allow us to get criticals every so often out of nothing, which is nice. Alright, that appears to be what the build is. We've got um, this all the way up, so if we want to get a sneak critical on something to do 40% more multiplicative, which is massive, by the way. Alright, it's really big. Um, well, yeah, we've got that. It's pretty good. And this is spelling, spelling out the lay play all right cool um let's get started 68 damage we're, we're so close to greatness one more damage point i would have been pretty happy with what i'm seeing here unfortunately it's saying 68 here as well so at least that's consistent today and if we compare it to the 10 mil damage it's edging out slightly okay so here we are outside of the dust headquarters now what i'm looking to do here today is find the ceo of dust who keeps covering my commodore in dust and kick his ass and that'll make the dust go away now for some reason all of these guys are like super mutants so that might make negotiations a little bit um difficult they'll be short hopefully but uh, also aggressive at the same time there you go there's your daily dose of prequel memes so i'm actually liking this damage so far um we're doing a little bit better than what I would have thought. We do have chameleon armor, see? It's all got AP regen, so we're going to be quickly uh, getting our AP back if we happen to be sitting here doing nothing. I think the damage between the criticals and the non-criticals is kind of overwhelming, and it is nice that we're able to get as much criticals as we are getting. If I wanted to really double down on criticals, what I'd do is whack on unyielding gear, get my luck to 34 so we can have a critical every other shot. Hey, if anyone's got a, a bloody lucky laser gun, I'd actually want to give that a go. Might want to do that on this character because though Winter can use all of her sneaky sneak perks, um, we're getting away with this without using all of those surplus and agility. Plus, it's a loud and proud weapon anyway. I believe the uh, VATS efficiency on pistols, they should be a little bit better than rifles, so we might be better off having it like this. Funnily enough, um, 
despite Bethesda's blunder on how they do the damage and shit in this game, um, they've actually made it like a cool reason to either use a, <laughs> a laser gun as a pistol or a rifle, depending on what your thing is. Um, back in Fallout 4, you used to get range bonuses out of your pistol weapon, so there was no reason to ever not use any laser gun, normal or institute as a form of a rifle because you just miss out on a whole lot of range damage, which is a shame. But they've changed out this game because you either got to go with the VAT sufficiency or if you want to use the perception points to perk up the damage, you could get the sneaky stuff, which is not super useful, to be honest. Okay, we're inside now. This doesn't appear to be the CEO of Dust, but we'll start cleaning up his friends and maybe he'll show up to Medic's lever gun. It's a nice one-star drop. I'm not actually looking for all that much script anymore. I'm just going to take cover from that super mutant because I was reloading and he had automatic fire and he was standing in a place where Vats couldn't really lock on. Vats hasn't been too bad so far, which is nice because usually I'm uh, seething at the Vats performance. But I think we've been pretty quick on um, when we are targeting Vats to not really give it a chance to mess up. So that's helpful. Oh, yeah couple of shots and they're dead. It's a fairly efficient way to use your fusion cells, I think. Like, it's not legacy performance, obviously, but it is nice to see something that isn't the, I guess, meta weapons. I like how they try to get us to change meta when they nerfed our damage. Yeah, not happening, mate. But, yeah, it's doing alright. I think we are being carried by the crit damage, though, and honestly, it's shifted from doing high base damage you're just doing crit damage all of the uh people who speed run earl or uh, queens these days know it because they want to spam the criticals without as many reloads as possible that's why everyone goes and chooses um quad stuff these days which is cool because it proves my point that sustained dps is better than the ability to one shot shit it's why hunting rifles aren't sought after it's why everyone wants the quad fire rate or crit damage fixes or whatever to deal with Earl and get their speed kills going. Wow, that super mutants really just sent it. So we're down in a nerd rage threshold now, getting like damage from adrenal reaction, which is not super great. We're probably gonna die. We'll see how we go. Um, we'll just try to slow it up a little bit. I know there's this guy in here. So we'll deal with him. Fuck it, I'm just gonna stim pack. I'm not even gonna waste anyone's time today. Why not, eh? I mean, I've, I'm carrying around tons of them and I'm usually selling them. By the way, if you are struggling for caps and you wanna get a little bit of um, scratch from the ripoff bots around the map, just gather stim packs. They're easy to get. Just do daily ops and don't bother healing yourself. If you've got vampire weapons, then, mate, piece of piss. Alright, so we're, we've done pretty good here. Um, we're kind of squishing our armor because I don't bother to farm for like all of this secret service stuff because, well, I've already got this. Why would I bother, right? More grind is not what I want out of this game, but we seem to have made it through. As the Skyrim guards used to say, the best offense is a good... No, the best defense is a good offense. That one. Can you feel that in the air? There's been another controversy. I'm on Twitter, right? Um, Bethesda put up their advertisement thing saying, Hey, here's the settler's gear that we once sold as exclusive uh, shit when, um, when Wasteland is released. It was like the deluxe edition. You could get the Raiders or the, um, or the settler form of it. It's just like a couple of outfits. The main things that you'd get from, the, like the coolest shit is the power armor that you'd get from it. They were pretty cool. Wow, really? Classic Vats losing the lock on there. Although, we're not really playing this smart. I should probably turn the, like, the game volume up so I can hear them when they're running at me, but looks like we've defeated the first wave. We're back into Nerd Rage, so yay, Adrenal Reaction, right? Come on. Oof. mania here. There we go. Getting better. Uh, I think Grim Reaper Sprint is doing some good work. What is it, a 35% chance? If you're averaging three kills per streak, then you're going to get, uh, on average, you're going to get your AP back. So that's pretty good. Especially for a weapon like this where you're not getting a massive AP bonus. Tell you what, the ability to stagger would be nice. No, no not me. Stagger them, not me.
before you call me a noob for dying, one, you're right, but two, look, I try to keep this interesting. If I'm sitting out at the choke point waiting for ghouls every 10 minutes, you're going to click off the video because that shit's boring. All right, we may as well reload. There's a Wendigo over there walking casually. They kind of walk like that when there's no one around. They forget. We are running the fucking mag dry so much here. 21 rounds, that's nothing. Maybe a quad uh, that crit damage thingy lucky would be fucking alright. Alright, well, that was shit and sloppy and bad, and I need to actually think about what I'm doing, maybe. I'm looting ghouls, that's what I wanted to find. The game's telling me, ha, ah, you're taking too much damage from ghouls, take this. Also, it's one star, adding insult to injury. Here's a question that I'm pondering. Why are all our mag capacities in this game fucking awful, except for like a few occasions with heavy guns, right? Back in Fallout 4, you could get any old assault rifle, put an 80 round quick eject drum in it. How good was that? That was great. You could fire from Monday to Sunday with that kind of bullets. And even the combat rifles, the extended magazines gave you 40 back in the day. You could even stuff 4308s in there somehow. So that was pretty fun. Uh, so I don't know what they've done. Why they've decided to do that. Maybe they thought in originally that the firefights were way too short. So they'd throw in some arbitrary reload times in there. Just to slow it down a little bit. But don't worry, we found a way around that. And they bit back by saying, well fuck, now their damage is too high otherwise. So we better pull that back. We've got to make these firefights last at least, I don't know, half an hour, you know? you, you got to make it less engaging for people who want to just breeze through it. you got to have it. you, you got to maximize that grinding. Then they're, then they're playing all week, which means they'll see more rotations of the Atom Store, right? Oh my god! How many did I just fucking whiff then? There we go. Well... Might have one magged him there if those things actually hit. Well, I guess we'll never know for sure though. So hopefully they fix that soon, right? I'm gonna fix it. it Said something about fixing melee. They're fixing the VAT hit detection. How about you fix the damage too? There's more problems than one there. I think I need to make some sort of lame channel update video just explaining myself because. This game is getting less and less fun to play every time I turn it on. I can't turn on the game and go a single play session without being frustrated in some way, which is a bad sign. You know what's the worst part about it is, is I'm fucking stuck here because no one else wants to watch anything else. <laughs> Ugh. I think a couple of people have noticed my enthusiasm has just gone away over the past... Wow, look out, Mr. Gatling Plasma Guy. I can get all excited about a legendary drop, but, you know, it could be the best drop in the world. I know it's not going to perform. It's, uh, really not what I need right now. There you go. I'll try to remember to pick that up later, but, you know, if I leave it, then I'll just, uh, we'll just have to grind some more to get more script that way. Righto. Grenade goes away. I'm actually worried about this fight. Probably gonna die. We'll see how we go. Now, the hitting power of the uh, laser gun versus limbs is not great. So, we're probably better off just to hit it in the head. Ah, yes. The classic Mylurk Queen one-shot. The tides have turned. We used to one-shot the Queen. Now, it's one-shotting us. And boy, we are having fun doing this, aren't we? Alright, we're back into it now. No use cutting the camera when I talk through most of that death reloading screen. Look, it was like a big... Two big mag dumps with as many crits as I could possibly go. They're like, There's not much I can really do about that. Apart from, you know, jump on a roof and be cheap like this. Hope you enjoy this next lot of gameplay. This would be a perfect time for a Raid Shadow Legends ad. Why am I targeting the torso? Bad idea. You are standing there, so I'll do this. Boy, oh boy. You know, someone like made like a backhanded comment that why is a Mylurk King harder than Earl Williams? And like, it's not even 
Like, you sit there, you chuckle at it, but then you think about it. Like, why? The fuck? We're struggling a bit here. I'm doing me best. I mean, I'm half assing it as usual, but, you know, I'm trying to utilize as much damage as possible. We've, we've got some adrenaline thanks to murdering her babies, which might elicit an emotional response out of her. Man, I wish I had the range of a suppressed 10mm pistol right now, hitting her for six apiece. You know, there's a reason why people use legacies and nothing but. I could have attacked that, approached it differently, but ultimately it would have taken the same amount of bullets, it just would have been less death loading screens, so. I don't know. It's just. Uh, what, what do I even say? I think it speaks for itself. The whole thing about my channel is going and fucking around with weapons, but every single day it feels like that the damage nerf is just making the game more of a grind, making it less enjoyable. I'll press on though. I'll, we'll have to press on, maybe. I mean, depends how XCOM season goes. We might just like drop this game entirely. What is that guy doing? Are you kidding me? He's just launching these cluster bombs straight into the ground. At least we can do that, right? Well, we're kind of rooted now. Let's get some cover here. Yep, there we go. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, having the damage being cut in half is bad enough, but then you do a full VAT surround and major whiff of Roonies and all that. That's not what you need. That's not what you need at all. Could shoot him from back here, I guess. Oof, seven damage. Headshot's no good against robots. Ooh, that was a cool adjustment to aim halfway through your breath. That's kind of cool. All right. You going for a piss, are you? No, you're floating around. That's good. All right, you're in prime range now. We'll just light you up. I'm seeing a lot of 20s and 50s. Tell you what, if that thing was a little bit closer, we might have a better shot at it. There we go. A bit closer now. Oof. I really didn't expect the range to sting you this much. Especially on a laser gun. And we've just, um... Okay, so here's another thing about weapons like this. If you want to use the crits to maximize damage output, you're fighting against a legendary Scorch Beast. Chances are you will, as I've just done here, disintegrate the thing in the air. And those ash piles, they'll stay there, and they're going to be hard to reach. So instead of fighting anything else, um, I'm just going to use the rest of this time to demonstrate how difficult this is to grab. Also, I just um, remembered that I forgot to pick up the gauntlet, so, whoops. Even that, even a uh, power armor suit stacked on top of a uh, survival tent can't get it. So, yeah, look, the weapon performed well. It did really well against the super mutants, but as soon as we hit anything that was more than, say, a thousand hit points. Swan, I mean, I think we got a sneak critical on him, but the My Lurk Queen is just a big sponge these days, so obviously we're going to struggle against that. And the Scorch Beast, we went a little bit better then, but most of the time we were hitting for like 21 damage when we were hitting for. Look, we don't have adrenaline charging for that, but look, we were hitting for like a quarter of our damage on the uh, card here, so, you know, it's just energy damage being calculated differently that's screwing us over. Look, I didn't mean for this video to turn into a big rant, but it's just kind of where the game's at. Furious, lucky laser pistol definitely left me furious. And on that note, uh, I'm going to go play XCOM 2. See you.